What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. We are doing 30 videos in 30 days and I'm so excited to be bringing today's prayer because it's a prayer that I certainly needed. I want to be as transparent with you guys as I possibly can. I come on here, I do prayers, but you know what? Sometimes stuff happens. Sometimes, you know, we get that heaviness and you know what? We may get it, but we can combat it with the word of God and with putting on a garment of praise. Before we pray, let's get our Bibles. I want to drop one scripture. Well, it's actually a couple of verses. <laughs> so it's Isaiah 61, 3. Okay. So it says, um, I'm going to go back actually to verse 2. To proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all who mourn and provide for those who grieve in Zion. To bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes. The oil of joy instead of mourning and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. I'm going to read that one again. A garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. They will be called oaks of righteousness. A planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor you know today it's been a real it's been a weird day <laughs> it's been a really weird day you know I've had since four o'clock in the morning this you know spirit of heaviness and you know I was busy today so I really didn't um, pay attention to it but I could sense that it was there. And then later on this evening, um, like it just, it just overflowed. That's probably, yeah, it overflowed on me today, um, especially in the evening. And I was, you know, I'm trying to make these earrings just for fun, but I'm doing the earrings and I'm just like feeling so, so heavy. I had that spirit of heaviness. And I was listening to some music and I was like, you know what? I need to, I need to switch it up to praise. I need to praise because this thing was just sitting on my chest. It was just, you know, and you know, when you have that, you're not thinking straight. Your emotions are all out of whack. And that's exactly what was happening to me today. All the way up until I want to say 1030 um, in the evening. And so I put on Beauty for Ashes, which is by Upper Room. And I don't know if any of you have been to Upper Room, but I had the privilege and honor of going to the Upper Room this June. And let me tell you something, there is no way you can be sad. There's no way you can have despair or depression in that environment. And it's not because it's Upper Room, it's because they literally minister to the heart of God. They pour out their hearts to God instead of waiting for him to pour out his heart on them. They pour theirs out to his and you know, you could feel it there. There's just no way you can sit in that environment, you know, with a frown or feeling despair or feeling depressed, depressed. So I put on um, one of their songs and I listened to it twice. It was Beauty for Ashes and the lines are beauty for ashes praise for heaviness you know and, and the guy uh, i think his name is joel he keeps singing he keeps singing praise for heaviness he keeps doing that part and then he starts like jumping in the end i'm gonna go ahead and just put the link i highly encourage you if you are feeling that spirit of heaviness like i felt today put on that song you know you can literally put on any praise music or you can say for your from your mouth i praise you jesus i praise you <sighs> praise for heaviness praise for heaviness the joy of the lord is my strength say that over and over and there's no way that spirit of heaviness can sit under the presence of the almighty god i'm telling you i'm telling you from experience today today was such like oh I, I felt like this elephant was sitting on my chest and I couldn't focus you know I could not like talk to people properly because it was just there you know and you know we're gonna come against that right now in the name of Jesus so if you have a spirit of heaviness we're gonna go ahead and pray and when you're done with this video please go click on the link that is in the description box and listen to it listen to it over and over again if you have to 
And let me tell you something, there is no way that spirit of heaviness can sit under the presence of the Almighty God. There's no way. There's just no way. Because God is powerful. He's so powerful. He's so beautiful. He's so loving. He won't let you sit in that spirit of despair. We're going to pray against that right now. Father God, I thank you, Lord. I worship you, God. I worship you, Father. I thank you for coming and touching me, Lord. I thank you, Father God, that you gave me praise for heaviness, that you just gave me beauty for ashes, that you flipped the script like nobody else can, Father God. I thank you. I pray for anybody who has a spirit of heaviness. I command that spirit of heaviness to leave now 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 in the name of jesus get out in the name of jesus christ just begin to praise him begin to praise him we praise you almighty father we love you god we love you lord you are king of kings and lord of lords Praise for heaviness. Praise for heaviness. Shalom, peace. Shalom, peace on your souls. Shalom, peace on your mind. Shalom, peace on your emotions. In the name of Jesus, I cover and seal these prayers with the blood of Yeshua. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Please click on that description box and keep praising God when you feel that that heaviness hit you know during the day I was so busy that I was just you know putting it off putting it off but you know I've learned you know the minute I feel it to just give praise to the Almighty God to just give praise to Almighty God Amen. Well, you guys have a great day and I pray shalom peace. And remember, praise for heaviness. He is king of kings and he loves you so much. And I love you guys too. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.